Fun Day Grocery Haul. No, Grocery... Adventure? Run. Run. Adventure. I'm also finally going to donate the stuff that I decluttered before Christmas to the charity shop. These things. This charity shop is full of temptations and again I could not stop myself for trying on some clothes. Like all of these I found from one rack. I bought two long sleeves because I needed them, okay? Hello everyone, it's Monday. It's actually sunny today, which is amazing. I haven't seen the sun in a lot of time. I was gonna go to the gym today, but I actually decided that I will finally go for a run. I haven't run in ages, so I made myself a pumpkin spice latte. I put a lot of sugar in this, or like a syrup, agave syrup. So this is very, very sweet. I think because during Christmas I was eating a lot of sweet things every day multiple times a day like chocolate candy pastries um and all of that good stuff which was amazing and there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like i'm like more accustomed or not addicted but like i really crave sugary things now all the time which is fine i don't restrict my eating i can eat anything whenever I want and also I don't classify things as junk food or healthy food anyway <laughs> um, this is quite a big topic okay uh, where do I start so after new year I always find myself to feel quite low and especially this has happened this year so 2024 my first week of 2024 wasn't so good I was feeling quite sad when I feel that way my kind of old eating habits start to resurface because i have experienced a lot of disordered eating in the past i don't anymore i have a good relationship with food nowadays i'm very happy for that but when i don't feel good i see that i get those like intrusive thoughts and i go back to bad habits so that said i have a very sweet latte because i craved it and i can have it and i don't have to feel bad about it um anyway that was a spiel. Let's go for a run. Look, look at this sunshine and look at my cute socks <laughs> that match the carpet. Um, sorry about the mess. We need to hoover vacuum. Um, yay, it's sunny. Actually, before I leave, I have wanted to cut my hair for a long time. I don't remember when I last did it, which is always a bad sign. <laughs> so the ends of my hair are really, really dry. Whoa, <laughs> this is the situation right now. This is actually perfect because if I cut this, then I can also put on like an oil mask or like just oil in my hair basically and let it sit there while I go on my run and then I can wash my hair and feel reborn. So I have slightly baby hair. When I brush it, it obviously goes straight, but it means that my ends get really, really dry. I have cut my hair for a lot of years now. I'd say at least maybe seven. Or even more. I usually follow Pickup Lime's video on YouTube, but lately I have just become lazy, so I just do this method. If you're gonna cut your own hair, I'm definitely not a professional, as you can tell. But buy these hair dresser scissors, like that are actually really sharp. Don't do this with dull scissors, or you are going to ruin your hair. But here we go. so thick obviously now i will go through this and make sure they are the same i do apologize for my greasy hair but this is the reality now i'm going to cut the framing pieces so now i use this side of this comb and brush it diagonally diagonally <laughs> diagonally Finally, I'll just point cut into this, so like this. So obviously now my hair looks really crazy because it's so dirty. And I usually end up correcting my hair. I see some mistakes somewhere it's too long. So I will just um, keep correcting it like the next day. But for now, we will add a lot of oil, <laughs> even more than it's already in my hair. And then we'll finally go for the run. I'm using almond oil, by the way. I really want to buy rosemary oil 
because I have heard it's really good for your scalp and hair growth and I would like to take better care of my hair and my scalp. I don't look the best in these videos, do I? So now I just do a simple braid. To be honest, that's the only braid I can do. You know, with beauty being a huge industry, the thing I've been thinking is that how much the beauty products actually do anything. Because how you look, how your skin is, how your hair is, is so much due to genetics. So I'm just thinking how much of a difference can a product actually do. I try not to fall into false promises with beauty products. Like of course it's very important to take care of your skin and your hair, especially now with TikTok on any social media and on any media to be honest, is that <laughs> this kind of obsession to stay young and look young. I think it's such a gift to grow old and live this life and I find it very toxic that women especially can't have any wrinkles. You know what, I'm gonna put this hoodie on as well. I don't care. Because I'd rather be hot than cold. I also need a hat. I got this hat for Christmas. It's really good for running. Because it's warm, but it doesn't make you too sweaty. So I will look very sexy. I'll also put on these. I've had these pants for, for a long time. Because I had them when I was in high school, which was over 10 years ago. Oh my god, I wish the weather was like this in the winter all the time. I'm sorry, but after New Year, I'm just very done with winter. I'm already like waiting for summer, which is a bit depressing because obviously it's a long time until summer. Especially this year because I'm not even going snowboarding or anything fun like that, like outdoor sports. Which is like the best part of winter in my opinion. Ooh, the wind is pretty cold. I haven't been able to walk on the fields this autumn at all or the winter because it's been raining so obviously they are very very wet and muddy so hopefully now because it's under zero i can go uh, oh my god why abort mission immediately <laughs> let's go back to the roads shall we hello how are you doing how was christmas you know me and my friend Ona were actually planning to attend a half marathon in February uh, but I'm so glad we didn't do it in the end because I guess I'm not just got out running in the rain and cold because now I'm enjoying it because of the beautiful sun otherwise I don't know but I definitely want to attend another half marathon maybe in the summer who knows who knows what's gonna happen this year I have no idea what's going on This is the road I used to run in the summer, but now I should swim through it. That actually felt so nice. I felt like I could have gone on forever, but I did just under 6k because the loop I did ended like that. And sure, I could have gone like a small loop to get to 8k or 10k but I just thought because this is my first run of 2024 uh, that I would keep it easy that I wouldn't push myself too hard so I will feel inspired because now I ended on a high like I find it so funny that I still have this assumption that I can't run or that I'm bad at running even though I did half marathon last year if I just say to myself that I will run I can do it so that said, I hope I can keep this up. I would love to run once a week. And I would also run at the gym if the weather is bad. It's not my favorite thing to run on the treadmill, but I would definitely do that as well because then I would have no excuse. <laughs> but now let's do some stretching.
our Christmas tree died. We just have to recycle it somehow. I'm not sure how, but I need to cut it down, sadly, because otherwise we can't carry it down because everything will drop. I don't know, I feel like a murderer or something doing this, but I guess it's the only option. Oh my god. As fun as it was to have a Christmas tree, that was that was quite a job. Next time I have a real Christmas tree, I will definitely make sure that I can recycle it afterwards. Or, I mean, that I can plant it afterwards somewhere. Because I know that's a thing as well. So then you wouldn't have to kill the tree. I mean, of course the tree died. Like, I didn't want to kill him or it. <laughs> focused hello hello um i'm sorry i have my headphones on but i have to leave literally now i don't know why i'm filming i'm going to an art museum today which is so exciting i love museums they have free access today so i'm going with a few friends and i have to leave now it is minus one degrees again and it's really sunny and i'm so happy you know i think i should live in a country where it'll be sunny all the time but when i was in asia it was too hot for me like I know I'm so weak, but if it's too hot, then I'm just tired. So if anyone knows a country where it's not too hot, but where it's sunny most of the time, let me know because I will be moving there. This is the outfit. My trusty black turtle leg and my beautiful trousers and sneakers, not these. <laughs> oh my god, it's so black. Can you see me? Did you see anything? Okay, I don't have time for this. I need to leave, so you just have to... I just hope you saw something. Okay, phone, headphones, do I have everything? I have everything, okay, run. For once in my life, I would like to cycle slowly because I always end up leaving too late and then I have to cycle really fast and then I'm really sweaty. So, okay, so I'm leaving now, bye. culture you are supposed to be in time but i'm always late so i was 10 minutes late but because in this group that i'm in there's a lot of nationalities um everybody's like 30 minutes late always <laughs> so i'll just go look around myself first i actually quite like wandering around museums alone first i check the museum shop because i just love all the knickknacks in museums anyway then i kept going and wow this expedition was so cool because with some of the paintings came also a smell so you got this paper with a fragrance and it was a whole experience i have to remember to go see art more because it always leaves me inspired hello from this horrible lighting i'm back the museum was nice wow so underwhelming i like to look at art i don't know much about art but i like to look at it <laughs> I also went to the local Indian store because they have the best things. They have the cheapest spices, they have like more special things, I guess. So, a haul. <laughs> My favorite thing. I got oregano, oregano, ginger powder. I put this in my porridge every morning, so I need a lot of it. Black pepper, sriracha. Honestly, if you buy sriracha in like a normal supermarket, it's so expensive. Uh, but this big bottle was 4 95 Like from Albert Hein, which is another supermarket here in the Netherlands If you buy Sriracha, you get like a small bottle for over 2 euros, I'd say Then I got tahini, my favorite thing as well Oh, this is so good in porridge or in cereal Then I got soy sauce Also, this is so much cheaper in the Asian shops than in normal supermarkets. This was 250, this big bottle. Finally, I got kala namak. Although here it says kala nimak. Uh, so black salt. But I'm so confused because it's, as you can see, it's white. Um, it's not black. Because here you can see my black salt that is almost empty. Can you see? That's actually black. So I'm so confused if this is the same. Okay, 
okay that was everything and that is also everything for this video oh my god i'm so cold actually it was minus one but it was very windy and i was cycling for 35 minutes back home it usually takes me about 30 or 25 so i was going very slowly i was just not moving anyway uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>